All right, today I'm gonna to give Amazon's best-selling windshield repair kit a shot. All right, so here is the windshield repair kit. This is Amazon's best-selling. This is the one they recommend to you. This is the one that has the highest stars. Um, it is uh, 10 bucks, and it was next day shipped with Prime. And uh, it says here that you can repair your window in 20 minutes, no uh, special tools required. So yeah, um, I'm, I've tried to repair the, uh, the cracks in the windshield and the stars in the windshield a few times and normally I've used the like old school Permatex ones that use the big syringe and the double sided tape like funnel thing. Never really used one that's this shape. This is more of a shape or shape or style kind of like the a professional style. I know Rainex makes one like this. Um, so I'm kind of a, looking forward to see how this one turns out, see if it works out any better. This video here isn't going to be any type of movie magic or anything like I've seen some of the uh, YouTube videos on on how to repair some of these windshields. Uh, this is going to be whether this works or not. I'm still going to post this video and tell you how it goes. But I'm going to give myself a little bit of advantage here. Um, I'm actually going to use tools. Um, I know that your professional windshield uh, repair, they actually use drill bits to drill into the glass. These are glass drill bits. These are actually made for the windshield. So I'm going to use these. And I'm actually going to use a UV curing light okay and what that's gonna do for me is these these it's gonna allow me to pretty much cure the glue this resin or the glue that this guy uses that this product uses it dries using UV rays or sunlight so this UV uh, tube tool right here is gonna allow me to cure the resin without going in the sunlight uh, a lot of times I end up with these cracks in the window or these stars in the window during the winter time and you really can't use these kits in the winter because there isn't a whole lot of sun or it's raining or your, your car's in the garage so this is going to allow me to do this in my garage and not pull my car out into the sun I can actually cure it with this light here and this is not this exact tool but this is what your professional windshield repair guy is going to use he's going to use a UV light to cure the resin and not the sun because this is a better way of doing it because he knows that you can get the resin locked into the crack and it won't run out before the sun can actually dry it. So um, I got all this stuff on Amazon and I'll leave links for all of this down in the description box below and uh, I'll show you how it goes and show you how it works. So. so the glass drill bits, it's preferred that you use a Dremel with them but usually your standard Dremel doesn't come with the correct inlet uh, size to be able to hold the drill bits. This is going to be a 1 and 1 8th. And these bits themselves, to get make this work, you're going to need a 1 and 1 16th um, like holder piece that goes down in here to make that work. I don't have that. I didn't buy that. It's, it was actually like another 8 bucks to get it. I'm going to go ahead and use a drill, which will work. It's just not as fast as using this Dremel. So just a little heads up on that when using these drill bits. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you the little star that's on my Jeep here. Alright, so here is the bullseye I have in the windshield. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this off with some alcohol. I'll show you what it looks like from inside the car. Alright, so here's a little chip in the windshield. This is from the inside of the Jeep. Alright, so I'm going to use a little bit of rubbing alcohol to clean the windshield off. I don't want to get it down into the into the star, but I'm just cleaning it off. Okay, so with the glass drill bit, I'm going to try to drill right in the center right there. You can see the cutting cutting part on the bit. Hopefully, hopefully the the camera will focus on that. But I'm only gonna have I'm only gonna try to drill in there about halfway as far as this this cutting head is. Okay, because I don't want to go all the way through the windshield. I just want to go through the front layer of glass because it goes glass, laminate, glass. I just want to go through the glass. It's okay to go through the laminate a little bit. So this piece of glass, it they kind of vary in thickness. Um, but this one, it's no thicker than quarter inch thick. So I just want to drill a little bit and then uh, shoot some glue in it. So 
I hope that's kind of where I need to be. With all that, and I'm just gonna clean it off again with some rubbing alcohol. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this this part of it, and we're gonna line it up with the hole we just drilled right through there. Try to get it in the center. Press down, get the suction cups working. Then you're going to use this threaded piece. Okay, and it has, it's like a rubber seal. And you're going to thread it on here until it touches the windshield. A little bit of pressure. All right, then it says to go and check inside to make sure it's over the hole. All right, so it's right over the hole. I went and checked it. This is on here pretty good. And uh, this is the plunger. That's actually, you're gonna put three to six drops of glue. That's what it says, the instructions say. And then you're gonna use this plunger piece, stick it in here and you're gonna twist it. And it's supposed to push the glue into the star. So here's my resin or my glue. I gotta open this guy up. All right, so three to six drops inside. Get this antenna out of my way. One, two, three, four. I'll do four. Stick the cap back on. Get my plunger. Stick it in, twist it. It says to leave some pressure on it four to six minutes. And look at it from the back side, see if the glue is going inside the crack. And I can still see it. I think it's pushing it in. I don't know if I need to turn the screw a little tighter, add some glue, see if I can turn it and see what happens. Well, I have no idea if I'm turning this too much. And I guess I'll let this sit for about three to six minutes or six minutes and come back and see what it looks like. All right, so it's only been about a minute. I did notice that it it has started to push the the glue into it. It actually looks like it has gone into the crack. Definitely right there on the like on the side, like how it was a star. You can see that's not as shiny, so there's actually glue in there now. All right, well it's been about six minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and take it take it off and see what it looks like. Hopefully you can see that, but it actually did push the glue into the crack pretty well. Let me go get my other camera. All right, so it did actually push the glue into the crack. Pretty good, pretty well. Hopefully that comes up on camera pretty good. Try to get that glare out of here and go look at it from the inside. You can still kind of see it. That it actually fixed Looks like it fixed the bottom little legs, but it didn't do these side ones very well. I might try to push it again, or I might drill it. I might drill it right here and right there to see what happens. Let me, I'm going to go drill it and see what happens. Alright, so I went and I drilled those two little cracks a little bit. Just to see if I can get some more glue into them. So I can make them go away a little bit more. I don't know if that's going to work or not, but I figured, heck, I'll go ahead and give it a shot. The kit comes with plenty of glue, so I got it. I got so much pressure on it that the glue is actually starting to leak, leak out of it a little bit. So I'll let that sit for about five minutes and come back and see what we got. Well, I actually have two of them in the window, and I'm gonna see if I can fix this one. So while I'm waiting, 
I'm gonna drill that one. Let's see where you at. Let's see if the camera can pick that one up. So, yeah, see if I can fix that one while I wait. All right, well it's been about five minutes. Take this guy off. Let's see what we got. Well, you can see that definitely looks a lot better. So now what we're gonna do is gonna get this sheet, stick it over here, dab it on there, and then I'm gonna get my light. Stick it over it. The suction cup and just stands right there. I'm gonna let that sit until it's cured. I'm gonna go work on that other one. See if I get that other one to come out. All right, so I'm out here with my Toyota Tundra. And I've actually paid to have this one fixed right here, and it didn't come out very well. If you look, you can see it. If it'll focus on it. Man, it won't focus on it. Okay, it'll focus on it. That it it kind of covered up some of it. Like the initial crack is right there, where that hole is. But it still has this line. And I actually put a drill bit to the very end of it right there to get it to quit cracking. But the guy could only fill up. I paid for this. The guy could only, you know, he only filled about that far. And he told me that the windshield was hot and he couldn't get the glue to go down that crack. So I think I'll take that kit and I'll try to drill that hole that I've already drilled. I'll try to fill it. See if I can fill that crack. Because that thing just shines right in my face. It's right in front of the wind, you know, right in front of me when I drive. Let's see if I can fix that one at all too. Alright, got it on the Tundra. Letting it do its thing. Drilled it out a little bit. Now it's pushing it into that crack, hopefully. See how this one turns out in a little bit. All right, I'm gonna go and see if this is dry. It seems to be dry. Yeah, oh yeah, it seems to be dry. Get that out. You get this razor blade here. You can scrape off the glue. So seriously, this was about 20 minutes on that light at the most, and it dried it right up. Pretty cool. Go ahead and clean all the glue off of it and I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, so I just cleaned the window off. I hope the camera can pick this up, but it actually did a pretty good job of filling it in. You can still kind of see where I drilled the hole, you know, and there's still some little marks from the, uh, the initial rock, but the lines in they got filled up pretty good. Uh, pretty cool. Definitely worth the $10. Man, getting all blurry. Get my finger in there. Definitely worth the ten dollars to be able to do more than one star repair. You know, so, so I have working on that one over there, and then I still have it over there pushing on the truck. We'll see what the truck looks like in a little bit. And, and there's the windshield repair. So it does definitely does look a lot better. I'm pretty pretty happy with it. Definitely. I mean, I'm able to take it to multiple vehicles, so, or do multiple repairs for just 10 bucks. It's definitely worth $10, I'll tell you that much. So to recap, uh, Amazon's best selling windshield repair kit is absolutely worth 10 bucks. Um, I don't see it repairing a long crack at all. It's not made for that. It's not going to do that. But for bullseyes, it's definitely going to uh, going to make them look a lot better. Um, I would say if you you know spend the 10 bucks and try it yourself. But yeah, the kit, I really like the fact that I can keep reusing the kit until the glue is pretty much gone. Because every single car I have, it's got it's got a star chip in it, in the windshield. So, if you would consider subscribing and supporting my channel, I would really appreciate it. Um, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you some clips of the Tundra and how it fixed that little crack right there. But uh, do, me, uh, do me a favor and uh, leave a comment or hit me up on Instagram and tell me what you think about the kit. Um, 
if you have any tips or anything, if, if there's a better way of using it, I think the drill bits actually uh, are kind of a game changer with it. They actually will help you get that glue in there. And the light is just kind of a convenience thing, you know, because I'm doing this in the garage and it's dark, but it, it definitely does work. Again, those, uh, all the products there, links down in the description box for those if you want to get those. And I'll show you what the Tundra, how the Tundra came out. You guys take care, be safe, and have a great weekend. Hope to see you in another one. Later. Right, right there is where I drilled the hole. And you can see where it filled in the crack. Still a little bit where it didn't fill in there. Let's see what it looks like from the inside. All right, for the inside, look. I can zoom in on this thing. Okay. You can see the, this is the old damage right there. This is where it was filled originally. The guy could barely fill it there. And he couldn't get this wine to fill in and i had drilled that one hole right there originally to stop the crack today i drilled that one and i filled it in pretty good it's not it's not going to be nearly as blinding in the sun pretty cool pretty happy with it i could if i really wanted to go ahead and drill this guy and try to fill that guy in maybe for a different time pretty cool